Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Lovely viewers, today we are here in the Medina constituency to observe it with the people of the Medina community. For the first time in the history of this community, they are praying on the road due to injunctions that have been placed by the court. So the Imam has a lot to tell us in his sermon regarding the dispute on the land that the court has placed injunction on. Let's listen to him. Brothers and sisters in Islam, as we are celebrating the Eid today on this road, there is a very big story behind it. As we are celebrating the Eid today on the road, there is a very big story behind it. But the message that we have for all of you is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there to fight for this community. Allah will fight for this community. Allah will fight for this community. Even if one day comes and we are prevented from this road, Allah will show us another way. Brothers and sisters in Islam, the history of this place is known to everybody who has lived here for long. The school that you are seeing here, this was our football park, where we were playing football. Then they brought army with guns, 48 engineers regiment, and drove us away from the place. That was the place of our Eid. That was the place of gatherings. That was the place of everything. Then we were driven away from there. We were so patient that we said no, we are peace-loving people. We are people who love peace. And so we should just leave that place for them because the land that the community has reserved for the public use is vast. We have this other side of it. So let us leave that place for them. We shouldn't bother about that. So we left the soldiers to come and do whatever they did. They are those who came and drove us from here. Then we moved. Because the land that our chief left for community is big, so we will come to the other side, and that is here. A lot of you have never witnessed any aid being prayed on this street like this. A lot of the youth who were born in this community were born when we were praying it either here or here. Just because we are peace-loving people, some people at the top are using our peace-loving nature to cheat the whole community for some private entity. The whole community is being cheated for the private entity. We have given you this. There isn't any confusion on it. Why will you follow us over here too? We were here when you came. We were here when you brought the soldiers. So you have brought the soldiers again. And when the youth rose up, you killed them. Three of our youth died just because they were protecting the land of the community. What, was, what did we go wrong to say this is a land reserved for the community? Why did we go wrong? You killed three people. Nobody has accounted for them. Nobody has ever been held responsible for them. And today, you have brought the same soldiers again, 48 engineers, to prevent us. From here, brothers and sisters in Islam, understand something. Anything can change, but history will not change. Anything can change, but history, the true history, will not change. Brothers and sisters in Islam, we thank you very much. When they came and we told you, be calm, you were calm, we thank you. When they came, intimidated us thinking you will come so that they will kill more. We told you to be calm, you were calm, we thank you for that. And we thank all the Christian groups in our community who have always been living peaceful with us. We thank the Presbyterian Church, it is a church in the community which has always been peaceful with us. We thank them. We thank the Pentecostal Church, it has been with us for long, very, very peaceful with us. We thank the Roman Catholic Church. It has been with us for long. Very, very peaceful with that. Brothers and sisters in Islam, the problem is not about Christianity.
Christianity. It is just about those who are controlling the faith by this church. So nobody should have a different understanding. They are those who have the problem. If they had co considered themselves to be part of this community, they wouldn't have done that. They see themselves as a different entity and the whole community as a different entity. So they don't bother. What is the need of the community, they don't bother. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will work for us. Brothers and sisters in Islam, uh, we are entreating you from the chiefs to the ulama. Remain calm. Remain calm. Remain calm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will work for us. And we are calling on the politicians, those who sat in their offices and thought they could be doing everything and toiling with the community. We are pleading with them. In fact, we don't have any problem when they took our football back. But here we have a problem. They should also understand. When they took this part, we didn't have a problem. We left them. But here we have a problem. Because this is where generations upon generations we've been praying the eat. And we were here when they came. We were here when they came. And so if there is any priority, the priority must be for the community and not for any individual entity. Brothers and sisters in Islam, but let's continue to be law abiding. We shouldn't take the law into our own hands. We should keep cool and calm. And inshallah, those who are in power will have to listen to the cry of the community. We cannot be praying on the road. Those on power will have to always listen to the community. We cannot be praying on the road. This is where as President Kufo had his campaign. Edu Bahin was here. JJ was here. And for your information, when Dr. Hila Liman was coming to cut the sword for the construction of Red Flash, it was here that we all gathered. So nobody can change that history. Nobody can change that history. It is the community land, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will fight for the community. We are praying that after we have completed Ramadan, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala see us through so that we will always be good Muslims, good citizens, peace-loving people as we've always been. Brothers and sisters in Islam, we should pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should protect our country. May Allah protect Ghana. May Allah protect Ghana. May Allah protect Ghana. May Allah protect Medina Zongo. May Allah protect Medina Zongo. May Allah protect Medina Zongo. In fact, you have shown to the whole world that you are the most peace-loving Zongo in the whole of Ghana. You have shown the whole world that you are the most peace-loving Zongo in the whole of Ghana. If it were to be a different Zongo, what is happening here would have been a bloody situation again. But you are discerning. You are people of peace. And that's why they deny that everything, we are on the road praying. And we are not going to have any problem. Inshallah, the land will come back to the community. The Assemblyman of the Electoral Area, Honorable Abdurazak Sisi, has this to say. Uh, my greetings, my regards to all the Muslims around the world. Now, as you rightly asked about the issue regarding the land in contention, well, it is at a court of law for now. So we wouldn't want to talk so much about it, but we believe that the court will bring finality to the matter. And inshallah, the community would be victorious. Yes. Well, for the youth, as usual, we have to be calm. We have to understand that the leadership of the community we are doing our, utm our utmost best. In fact, even the youth itself, there is a certain section of the youth, I mean, in terms of leadership, that is part of the community leadership proper, that is doing all that it can to ensure that normalcy returns to the community. As you know, for the first time in the history of Medina Zungu, this is the first time we are praying on the road. We've never done this before. We've always prayed here. In fact, we used to even pray there. Until somewhere in 1979, this issue started. When it started, and then we came back here. So, yes, inshallah, we are going to get back our land as a community, and we are going to use it for that purpose. A resident and a youth activist of the community, Alassane Bello Suleiman, who also doubles as a political analyst, has this to say. Let me use this opportunity to say a big Eid Mubarak to our fellow Muslim brothers and sisters. 
May Allah forgive us our sins and accept our act of worship. Well, the Imam has spoken, and he has spoken passionately, and he has also, um, what do you call it, chronicled the event and history of the community in relation to the land. So without saying much, I do. It is an eyesore for a big community like Medina not to have a prayer ground, not to have a, 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 an open place where we do social activity. Historically, it used to be where the school is now. But for certain reasons that he has illustrated, we came to this side. So there is no way that an interest of an individual would trump the interest of a larger community. It just doesn't make sense. So what we are saying is that for the sake of peace, we have decided not to act or take the law into our hands. But mind you, we are not ready on any day, any platform to compromise on the ownership of our property. We only want the return of our bona fide property and no one will stop us from doing that in whatever form. Be careful with the route of the people. Eid Mubarak to all of you. Thank you for watching. Keep watching Hafiz TV. Do follow us on all our social media handles at Hafiz TV. Hafiz TV, unique every day. دامت مسعي